Welcome back to the Sandbox Tycoon series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to implement a delete system. So this is basically where you can delete objects off of your plot and only your plot and nobody else's plot. And you can get half of the value back when you delete, when you do that. So let's just get right into the video. Yeah, no advertisements or anything. Let's just get right in there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this place OBJ button. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to just change the text to delete mode or something. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual name. So I'm going to change this to delete toggle. And then I'm actually just going to delete client placement. And we're going to call this deletion. No, we're going to call this client deletion. So client deletion. Okay, so then what we can do is we can basically go into client D de client deletion. We need some stuff, but not everything. So we can get, get rid of that, get rid of these. Obviously we don't need the placement module or the, uh, we don't need the, the plot or any of these remote functions. So we can get rid of that. And I'm pretty sure, well, we don't need modules or models. So we can get rid of those two variables as well. Now, one thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be commenting from here on out, and I'm probably going to go back in scripts and comment them out because I cannot stress how important comments are, and I've been extremely sloppy with that. So let's just do some of that right now. So we're going to say just uh, variables to, well, they're just variables. I don't really know how else to describe them. Uh, then we have our services up here. I like to organize my scripts like this. You have like your services, and this can be a lowercase v. Then we can have events, functions, and we will discuss what they will be. Uh, we can make this lowercase. Why do I keep putting uppercase stuff? Uh, this one will handle, like, this is going to toggle delete mode on, on and off when clicked. And then down here. We're gonna do send signal to server to delete the given object if delete mode is toggled. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, this is all you have to do. You just have to do a simple comment here and there just to explain your code. Because if you come back to it after two weeks, you're not gonna remember what it does. We actually just can get rid of this part here. And we're gonna be creating a function. So, in fact, we are actually just going to get rid of this and put that above like a function here, which local function, and then we're gonna call this like request uh, deletion. Okay, so there we go. And then we can just set this to not replicated storage, request deletion. And what we're actually gonna be needing, we're gonna need some sort of like a toggle variable. So. Uh, right here, we can just do like is deleting, and we can set that to false. And then down here, we can say that is deleting equals not is deleting. So then, whenever we are clicking, whenever we click on it, if it's false, it's going to be true, false. You get the point. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to have to send a signal to the server. So what, what's actually going to happen before I move on, let me just explain what we're actually going to be doing. So when we actually are going to delete an object, let's just pull this part out. All right. So we have this part. If you click on it, when you're deleting, then what's going to happen is it's going to send that object to the server. It's going to check if that object is in your plot, then we are going to basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to delete it if it's if, if all everything went through fine. So yeah, let's just go put this back in models. And okay, of course, if, it, if everything doesn't go through, then it's just going to not delete it. So anyway, let's just get right into doing that. So we're actually gonna need a remote event. So we can do this and then we can, we're gonna just call this delete or something. And above here, we can basically just say that local RE stands for remote event is equal to remotes, wait for child and then delete. Okay. So first off, 
when we want to request a delete deletion, then we can just first off check that is deleting is true. And then what we are going to do is we are going to get the object. So we're going to say that local object or OBJ, I guess, is equal to mouse dot target. Uh, mouse dot target just returns the value that your mouse is currently on. So right now it would return the plot. Then we're just going to make sure that that actually is a valid object. And if it is, then we're just going to fire that to the server. So re um, uh, fire server, and then we can just give it the obj. Simple as that. We can just put a comment, make sure the object is valid. And yeah, we're just going to toggle delete mode on off simple okay so next we are going to create a server script and basically yeah just server script service we can just duplicate the script in this script we can basically get rid of a lot of things basically everything so let's just go do that and okay so the first thing that we need is the actual remote event so we're going to say that this is going to be variables. And then we're also going to do a comment up here for services. And OK. Then we need to get this. So we can say, whoops, local delete re is equal to replicate a storage dot signals dot remotes dot events. And then finally, dot delete and the reason why we don't have to do all these those wait for childs is because this is not a, uh, a client script or a local script so this is a server script and you don't really have to do that uh, okay so then we're just going to call this deletion server deletion server and then we are going to basically create a function that what do we need to do uh, checks to make sure the object is in the correct plot and actually we're just going to do uh, validates okay uh, validates to make sure the object is in the current plot and deletes the object if that returns true okay so now we just need to create the function that actually does that. So we can just call this delete. And then, of course, we need to actually call that. Uh, so we can say that delete re dot on serve event. We can then connect to delete. And then that's simple as that. Next, we need to actually make sure that we get the object and the player, so PLR and OBJ. And for this, we're gonna need the plot. So we have a module for that, obviously. Uh, where is the server modules? Here we go. So we can get that by just going into probably our plot handler script, and we can just basically get plot manager. So we can get this. And okay, so then we can use that. So in here, we can basically, if you remember how to use our script, we just put in the location of where that thing is and, or where the plots are located and then the player. So we can just do that by saying that plot manager dot return plot. And then we give it workspace dot plots. And then we give it the PLR. And we need to set that into a variable. So we can say local plt is equal to that. And so then you may be thinking, how are we actually going to make sure that we are not like, it, say we have like an embedded model or something. So how we're going to do that is we're basically just going to make sure the only object that you can hit is the hitbox. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say that if obj.name is equal to and then hitbox then we are going to move on otherwise we can just 
do nothing. So we don't even need an else case for this. We can just basically just say this is the name. Otherwise, we're just going to do nothing. Uh, so basically, we can just say that local obj. Uh, we're just going to say this. going to call it delete for right now. It's a terrible name. Come up with a better name for your things, but you can whatever. I'm just going to call it delete. So we can just say that this is obj.parent. This is going to get the model component. And so, yeah, the reason why we're going to do that is because we are going to be needing that in the future anyway. But anyway, what we can do now is we can basically, we're going to need to get the players, uh, we're going to need to update their leader stats. So what we can do is we can just say plr.leaderStats dot cash dot value is equal to and then we can just copy this and then we can say plus and we can just basically use the obj variable but I'm actually just gonna do the delete one so delete dot primary primary part and then dot price dot value times 0.5 now, why is it 0.5? Well, this is the same as divided by 2, and you can do it with any value you want. You can do like 0.6 or something like that, but I'm just going to do half. This is going to cut it in half, essentially. It's more optimized than divided by 2, so that's the reason why I'm doing that. Okay, so then we can just go and delete. So we can just do delete, destroy, whoops, destroy, boom, it's gone. Let's just go make sure, oh wait, I forgot to actually check the plot. So. Um, before we do this, we can just do that. We're going to need an if statement. So we're going to say if and then delete dot parent is equal to, okay, let's see, what is this? So, okay, so we're going to need dot parent dot parent. So dot parent dot parent is equal to the plot. So if that is equal to that, then we are going to do our stuff. Otherwise, we are not going to. And this should work. We may have to set the mouse.target filter to nil because the placement module, I don't know if it's fixed by now. I think it is, but it doesn't reset the target filter. It doesn't reset the target filter. So let's try now. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, so we need to get the events folder, which is going to be equal to remotes, and then, yeah, wait for child, and then events, and then we need to switch this out with events. Okay, so uh, make sure you set the name to the actual, or the button to the actual name of the button. Uh, since we copied the script, I forgot to actually change it. That is another reason why your code may not work. Uh, still keep this mouse target filter thing in until I, probably in the next video, I'm going to tell you either that the module has been updated to fix this problem or that the module was already updated. So if you have the latest version, then you could use it. But for right now, just leave this mouse tar target filter in is equal to nil. And yeah, another thing that I realized is that we need to change this leader stats thing to a lowercase l. And okay, so that actually, that this better work. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Turn on delete mode and boom. So now let's just make sure that that's actually happening in the server yet and it is. Okay, now what happens if we were to go and just click on something else? Uh, what happens if we remove a, uh, what plot are we on? Plot four, okay. So if we remove that object we go try to delete it it doesn't work so that means that it's not going to work in any other situation meaning that yeah it's basically you cannot delete it that should be that and if you have any questions join the discord server link will be in the description to that there will also be some basic resources on how to like kind of get started with this if anything's confusing i'll try to link down some down in the description some things that will help you um yeah so if you did enjoy this video, you can if you if this is your first time seeing the series, make sure you go watch the 
first video, that will be the video that you see on screen to the left, and on the right, you will see the next video, or if this is the latest video, you can, it'll, it'll just show you a random video that YouTube recommends to you. So anyway, that's that, and I'll see you in the next video. Link to the Discord will be in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there, but otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.